in this lesson, we'll be creating a custom title block for our project. And just to explain a few things here, title block is where you will find information such as uh, the, the, the project name, or rather the project title, you'll have details concerning the client and the consulting company, the card technician, the scale of the drawing, and other important information such as construction notes that need to be represented in a, every drawing that we are going to print. In the resources section, I have attached some of the information that we will need to be able to create a title block. I have some notes in a word format. I have uh, the company logo that you are going to use. And then the other information we are going to discuss as we go on. This title block can be accessed from the, or rather, is linked to the layouts and the master layouts that control how information is going to be represented in every page that we are going to put as part of our publishing. So when you go to the to the project map here and navigate to where we have these layouts, click on the layouts. Down here, we have masters. We have A4, A4 portrait. We have A3 landscape, we have A2 landscape, and A1 landscape. So let's activate this A4 portrait by double-clicking on it. Then you'll see we have this blank white space here, which represents the, uh, the space where we will have our drawing uh, represented. Then below there, we have this information concerning the contact company. We have uh, the, the project title, information such as the date of modification, and the person who modified the drawing, we have the drawing name, the drawing status, scale, layout ID, and revision IDs. So this is what we are calling a title block. You can be able to create a, a custom title block by either creating a custom a master layout that you are going to use for all your layouts, or you can still uh, take advantage of the fact that Graphisoft, uh, or, or rather the layouts that come, or the title block that comes with the Archicad by default usually is uh, as property data linked to it in a way that if you if you drag and drop uh, a drawing to this layout, this information is going to adjust accordingly. So what I'm saying is that if I drag, let's say, the floor plan to this to this uh, layout, we are going to see here the drawing name changing to the floor plan. You will see the scale adjusting so that it, ref it reflects the scale that I have set my floor plan to. So if you want to create, if you want to create a custom master layout so that you can edit, so that you can edit the title block, so that you can uh, create a custom title block for your publishing. We'll go down here, we have these options and this which says new master layout is what you are going to use. Then it's going to bring uh, this customization or other options that you're supposed to check. And with this, you'll have created this one, a new master layout, which is blank. Then from there, you can use uh, the various uh, documenting tools such as text and labels to come up with uh, a custom title block. But for me, I want to use the one that comes default with Archicad, but still I will, uh, I will do some customizations to it. So my drawings will be based on A3 landscape layout. So double click on that. And when that opens, you will see this space where we are going to place our drawings. Then there is this, which is the part that I am calling the title block. So I want to change a few details here accordingly. The first one is this, which we'll uh, right click, select activate tool. Then we'll uh, change this to, to, to the name of this lesson, or rather to the name of this uh, course, which is Akikad, Akikad 24 Essentials from Novice Ninja. Then this address down here, I will change that to the course project. Then I light and center. Click on the outside to place it. Then control D and drag this to position at the center like that. We'll have some other changes like in terms of modification and checks. I'll have this as my name. So let's have my name here and under checked. Still, 
still have so wherever i am placing my name so you'll be sure to type your name there so that is okay so we have we have options for the drawing scale so this is going to be updated in uh, it's going to be updated when we drag and drop a drawing here or rather a view uh, either the floor plan so this is going to be updated when we drag a drawing to this uh, layout so we leave the drawing scale untouched and the layout id and the revision id as that still with the, the same as the status and the drawing name for that but here under company title we have this as a logo for the graphisoft company so select it then go to the settings dialog for that you will see this company logo placed there or so there is this button click on it to open and then you will be able to type want to build logo 01 so this logo is uh, attached as part of the resources section for this lesson you'll be able to download it and use it so when you have selected the logo click open and you will see the preview here so if you want to still keep these proportions as the way they are then click on ok so the logo has been updated there but we need to adjust this size so that it fits the space that we have here so then move this downwards like that so that is our logo and then we have the contact address we'll change this to let's say we have let's have your name here so type your name and then you'll have uh, your, your your address so that, that's my address and my email part of the contact details then when you have typed that, highlight it, then bring it to the center. Click on the outside to place it, and that's how it looks like. So we have this uh, edited in, in a way that if we create a new layout that is based on this A3 master layout, this information is still going to be this information that we have. This information that we have in the title block is going to be replicated to to the new layout that we are going to create. So let's say I navigate down here and create a new layout so click on this create a new layout we'll see we'll see this uh, this pop-up that is asking us to give this layout a name so i will call this uh, let's say elevation elevation layout and then we have options for linking this to a master layout so select a three landscape then after that i'll click create and akikad has created this layout for the elevations if you look at it keenly we have the same information that we add in the a3 master layout that we were customizing and this is the title block that we customized so for example if we go to let's go to the project map here and then we have this zero and elevation so click on it and drag it to place it here so if you release you'll have the drawing update then we can be able to select it and adjust accordingly so move these two ones the inside like that then we have uh, this adjusted and from there we can drag it to that position let's say we have this as that so now we've placed that drawing there so that when you are printing we'll have this information and then the title block will be having uh, the relevant information in place so you notice after placing this elevation we have updates in terms of the drawing name it has updated to show that this is an elevation and then the scale has updated to a scale of 1 is to 100 the layout id has also updated to a03 so we can be able to save this layout with our custom title block that we have created so go to file and save us and select the option for saving file type as a pdf file click to open after save then on under page options we have a three iso then we are saving the entire layout okay and click so let's have this as custom title block udemy and click save so when the drawing gets uh, uh, saved as a pdf we get to have this title block that we have uh, created and this is going to be appearing on all the layouts that we are going to have
So the next time uh, we are creating a layout, we'll make sure that it is linked to a three landscape as our custom layout, our uh, as our master layout, so that this title block keeps on getting replicated in uh, every layout that we create. That's how to create a custom title block in Archicad. So thank you for following. We meet in the next lesson.